Hey guys, it's Karen Basket DIYer here. And if you follow my channel, you will know that a couple of weeks ago, I created this beautiful sea turtle tumbler. Guys, this was such a huge hit in all the groups that I'm in. Um, I posted it on Facebook and received a lot of orders for it. So um, I've got those in the works, but I just thought it would be so super fun to create either a monarch butterfly one or a ladybug. One. So that's what I'm going to be working on for you today. So just stay tuned, follow along, and I'll walk you through the steps and show you how I create that using Peekaboo, Power Wash, and alcohol inks. I'm using a pre-sanded 20 ounce skinny from Maker Flow and then the Rust-Oleum 2 times orange spray paint. Okay, so I got my cup all spray painted nice and orange. And next I'm gonna be applying my glitter um, using Holographic Mix Pumpkin Spice. Sorry, it took me a while to find it. Pumpkin Spice by Maker Float. I love their glitter. It's all just super sparkly, but this is like a chunky mix. And so that's what I'm gonna be putting over this whole entire cup, and I'm gonna be applying it with Mod Podge, which is a little different than how I did that sea turtle tumbler. Um, but this can be done a variety of ways. This is just something that I'm gonna do on this one that's a little bit different. So here we go. So I don't even think my lighting inside truly captures how sparkly this Maker Flow holographic pumpkin spice is. Okay, and so next I use the Rust-Oleum 2 times Clear Matte Finish. I find this to be super helpful. Um, it keeps your glitter from shifting and it allows your epoxy to have something to adhere to. So I'm just gonna be applying a coat of epoxy here. I really love the Mr. Nola's glass coat. Um, if you've watched any of my other tutorials, you'll know how I feel about that. Okay, so my epoxy cured overnight and I sanded it and it did um, scratch some of my glitter, but I don't, I'm not too terribly concerned because that won't show up that much in my peekaboo reveal. Um, I found a butterfly on my Cricut design space that I really liked and so um, I cut some out in removable vinyl and placed them on here. I ran out of white so I had to move to black and this is actually permanent for a reason. I've got a monarch butterfly, um, three of them, larger ones that I'm going to be applying and some of these bigger, wider open spaces. And I'm gonna only be removing the inner part of the butterfly, the monarch, on the permanent vinyl. So <laughs> it may seem a little confusing that I'm using some removable, some permanent. So while working on this tumbler, I was thinking how fun this would be to use this exact same technique and create a jack-o'-lantern or pumpkin peekaboo in the fall. And here I'm just completely covering the whole entire cup right over the vinyl with this Rust-Oleum two times black semi-gloss finish. Okay, so got my tumbler painted black pretty rough looking because I did not do a great job sanding because I learned with that sea turtle one 
um, that all gets covered up so you don't have to waste a lot of time sanding before you paint and stuff. But I'm about to try something a little different. I've never used white alcohol ink on, sorry, on um, black paint before. So here we go. And I may not get to be as in control as I want because this stuff tends to do its own thing and start smearing. I'm dipping my brush in just plain alcohol to kind of help spread. And I always like to seal my alcohol inks with the Rust-Oleum 2 times Clear. Okay, and so next, just grab your Dawn Power Wash and just spray directly onto the vinyl butterflies. You just wanna cover all of those up as good as possible. And then um, grab your spray paint and cover the whole cup. I'm getting a pretty good coverage here. And then you grab your water and wash it all off. And there you have it. Okay, so that power wash actually turned out a lot better than I expected. Um, you can see that, you know, well, I think you can see that some of my overspray got onto my butterflies. That's gonna be okay. I think it's gonna give it a great marble effect that I was going for. Um, man, I love that black and white. So now that I'm just gonna be removing my little solid butterflies, I don't even know if you can see those or not. These are solid, and then my bigger ones are like the Monarchs, so they have cutouts within the wings. And I'm gonna be so super careful removing these because I want to leave my vinyl outline of the Monarch on there. Crossing my fingers, really hoping that that works out. If not, these will just be exposed, solid uh, glitter butterflies, like the small ones. Okay, so I got all the small ones done and they turned out really great. Oh my goodness. Okay, you do have to be careful not to scratch um, your paint. I think it's gonna be okay. But, um, oh goodness, I'm a little nervous to move into the big ones now because like I said, I'm just taking out the inner part to expose like the orange below. But, oh my word, I can't even see where, okay, I see one spot right here, so here goes. And I've gotta be so careful not to scratch. Oh goodness, ah, there we go, perfect. Okay, cross your fingers, guys. My absolute favorite epoxy, which is the Mr. Nola's glass coat. I mixed up 20 milliliters exactly, and that provided a really great coverage here, but I will need to sand 
this coat and apply a second coat because some of the places where I had tried to remove some of the vinyl and a few of the flaws, you know, caused a little bit of lifting and they're poking through on the finished coat. So once again, a final coat and then I will reveal it to you. Okay, and here it is, the final finished product. Oh, I am just so in love with how this turned out. I really hope that you've enjoyed um, this tutorial and that I've taught you something new. I am always constantly learning new things along the way. So if you have any tips or tricks for me, please let me know in the comments below. Um, don't forget to check the description for links and coupon codes. I really appreciate you watching and I hope that you will like, subscribe, and follow my channel and be sure to watch my other Tumblr tutorials. Thanks again.